Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, Anthropic just dropped what they're calling the best coding model in the world, Claude Sine 4.5, and if that sounds like hype, wait until you hear the details, because this thing is built to do way more than spit out code snippets. Anthropic is basically saying this model is an AI co-worker, not just a prototype builder, not just a chatbot that makes toy apps. You can throw Claude Sane 4.5 into production-level software development, cybersecurity, finance, or even deep research tasks, and it's supposed to hold its ground, and the company is leaning on benchmarks to back that up, especially SWE Bench Verified, which measures how well an AI system can actually perform coding fixes. On those kinds of tests, Sonnet 4.5 isn't just competitive, it's leading. What makes this different from the Claude models we've seen earlier is how much longer it can stay locked in on tasks. The Opus 4 model that came out earlier this year could run about 7 hours straight. Sonnet 4.5? It can autonomously work for 30 hours. That's more than an entire day of non-stop multi-step problem solving without losing track of the thread. Anthropic wants you to think of it as a colleague you can assign a project to, walk away, and come back the next day to see it still grinding. And they're positioning it directly against OpenAI's latest GPT-5, which dropped in August with its own pitch about being better for coding. But here's where it gets really interesting. Anthropic is stressing not just raw output but safety. In their blog post announcing Sonnet 4.5, they called it their most aligned frontier model yet. They've been pouring a ton of resources into safety training, and they're saying they've cut down on the stuff people complain about with large models. Sycophancy, where the AI just tells you what you want to hear, power-seeking behavior, deception, and even encouraging delusional thinking. They're claiming this release is a big step up in reducing those risks. They've also hardened it against prompt injection attacks, the classic trick where someone tries to jailbreak a model into spilling secrets or doing something malicious. That matters a lot when you're putting these systems into workflows with sensitive data. Let's talk pricing, because Anthropic didn't move the needle there. Sonnet 4.5 costs the same as the Sonnet 4 model, $3 per million input tokens and 15 per million output tokens. That's right in the ballpark of what serious developers are already budgeting, and they're not limiting access. It's rolling out through the Claude API and the Claude chatbot, so anyone in their ecosystem can tap into it. Now, the context. Anthropic has only been around since 2021, founded by a group of former OpenAI researchers. In just two years they've exploded from around 1,000 customers to more than 300,000. Amazon is backing them heavily, and right now the company is valued at about $183 billion Compare that to OpenAI's 500 billion valuation after GPT-5, and you can see why this rivalry is being called one of the fiercest in tech. Both companies are fighting for the enterprise market, especially businesses that want AI systems doing real work in software development. That's where the whole vibe coding trend comes in. The term was coined by Andre Karpathy, one of OpenAI's co-founders, and it basically means building apps and websites with AI help, even if you're not a trained engineer. That's become the new frontier, and Claude Sonnet 4.5 is clearly designed to be one of the engines driving it. And if you're wondering whether this is just a marketing push, Anthropic execs are making the case themselves. Jared Kaplan, their co-founder and chief science officer, told CNBC that people are noticing this model feels more like a colleague. He said it's actually fun to work with when you're troubleshooting and fixing problems because it doesn't just spit back code, it engages in the problem-solving process. Mike Krieger, Anthropic's chief product officer, went even further, saying Claude Sonnet 4.5 is going to be the default for users and that they recommend it for basically every use case. Paid subscribers will still have the option to use Opus, and if someone's workflow depends on an older Sonnet model, they can stick with that. But Krieger made the point that Sonnet 4.5 is smaller than Opus 4.1, but somehow smarter in almost every single way. The behavior improvements are a big talking point. Kaplan described them as the biggest jump in safety they've seen in at least a year and a half. Things like prompt injection resistance are especially important now that more companies are wiring AI into mission-critical pipelines. Anthropic's goal is clearly to show that they're not just about pushing the frontier, they're doing it in a way that won't blow up in an enterprise customer's face. 
So, what can it actually do that earlier Claude models struggled with? It generates higher quality code, it's better at spotting improvements in existing code bases, and it follows instructions more reliably. That's what you want, if you're asking an AI to not just write scripts but actually maintain or scale a large software project. It also fits into more specialized domains. Anthropic is calling out cybersecurity, finance, and research as areas where Sonnet 4.5 shines. That's smart, because those are exactly the sectors that that are already hiring AI heavily. And if you zoom out, you see the bigger strategy. Anthropic isn't just competing in the US, they're expanding globally, just like OpenAI did. They're opening their first Asia office in Tokyo. They're scaling operations across Europe with over a hundred new roles in Dublin and London and a research hub in Zurich. They're also hiring country leads for India, Australia and New Zealand, South Korea and Singapore. On top of that, there's broader expansion planned across the UK, Northern and Southern Europe, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. CNBC reported that their run rate revenue has jumped to more than $5 billion, up from about a billion at the start of the year. That's the kind of growth trajectory that screams, we're going global fast. It's worth noting that OpenAI isn't standing still. GPT-5's release in August was meant to reassert dominance, but it didn't land perfectly. Some users were frustrated about losing access to older models in the transition. Anthropic seems to be learning from that by keeping options open. Sonnet 4.5 is default, but older models still available if you need them. That's a subtle but important difference in rollout strategy. One more technical note, Sonnet 4.5 is more resistant to what they call sycophancy, that's when a model basically flatters the user instead of giving an honest or accurate answer. Reducing that tendency is part of Anthropic's broader mission to build AI that's not just powerful but trustworthy. And if you remember, safety was the entire founding ethos of the company. Former OpenAI researchers broke away to build a lab that would prioritize alignment, and they've stuck to that playbook even as the company's valuation has skyrocketed. And while all of this is happening, the market for coding AI is heating up. Anthropic wants to capture enterprise developers, hobbyist builders, and the vibe coders who don't have formal training. If they can show that Sonnet 4.5 really can be an AI colleague, someone you throw a 30-hour coding sprint at and get back production-ready results, they're going to win a lot of hearts in Silicon Valley and beyond. So to wrap it up, Claude Sonnet 4.5 can autonomously code for 30 hours, it it's safer and more aligned than any previous Anthropic release, it can build production-ready apps, it excels in specialized domains, it's priced at $3 per million input tokens and $15 for output, it's backed by Amazon, and it's being rolled out worldwide as Anthropic races OpenAI to define the future of coding. The company's now valued at $183 billion, its customer base exploded to $300,000 in two years, and it's already pulling in $5 billion in revenue run rate. The competition is fierce, the technology is evolving at breakneck speed, and Anthropic is betting this release will prove that Claude isn't just an assistant anymore, it's a co-worker. That's all for now. If you're keeping an eye on the AI race, especially where it intersects with coding and enterprise adoption, Claude Sonnet 4.5 is one to watch. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you in the next one.